I'll admit I can be so bad at getting in my dark leafy greens for a couple reasons. One, I am so lazy at chopping and rinsing and spinning greens and two, I love everything with piping hot starches. So this recipe solves both of those problems. Even the laziest can get there. Hey, wait. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. This beans and greens recipe is actually featured in the fall edition of the Health Science Magazine due to be released any day now. I'll link it below, but I'm making a double batch. This is four cups of black eyed peas, my favorite for this dish. They are not soaked at all, so all I'm gonna do is rinse them, throw them in a pot, and cover it with a couple inches of water and heat it up to a boil. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, for a double batch, I need to chop two yellow onions. Okay, our black eyed peas are up to a boil, so I just reduced the heat, and I have no idea how long it takes to cook these when you haven't soaked them, so we'll find out. I'll tell you later. All right, our beans are still going. Let's throw in these onions, and I'm just dry sauteing with a little bit of water if I need it. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna mince six cloves of garlic for this big batch. It's time for some Kirkland no salt seasoning. This is my favorite no salt blend. I'm gonna throw in like a couple tablespoons. And then optionally, you can throw in some crushed red pepper. There's a little bit, but I like a lot of it. So that's up to you, it's spicy. And just keep adding a little bit of water as you go, just to keep things from sticking or burning and you'll be in good shape. All right, it's time for some greens. I've got a beautiful bag of collard greens that are rinsed and cut and ready to go. I don't know how much I can handle with this pot, so I'm gonna start with like two thirds of the bag and that is what, a one pound bag. This is another bag of kale, same idea. Yeah. Pour in some water and just give it a stir. Oh, I can definitely handle more. Keep it going. Mm-hmm, let's keep it going. Nice. A little more kale. Oh, that is nice, I'm doing it all. I'm doing a whole two pounds. Everything, get it in there. I was wondering if I, if it was gonna shrink enough and it definitely is. Keep the water in there and just keep stirring it, you know, often enough so that you know it's not burning or anything. And just let these cook uncovered for, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes or so on medium heat, just so the stems and everything get nice and tender. Beautiful. It looks like even without soaking the black eyed peas, it only took about 30 minutes to cook them just right. While those greens are cooking, I'm going to drain my black eyed peas. All right, kill the heat, we're there. Pour in the beans, maybe throw in a little bit of bean water. Oh yeah. You don't wanna pulverize your beans, so just kinda carefully toss it together. I forgot one optional ingredient that I like to throw. This is one of the very few dishes that I like to put a few drops of liquid smoke to give it a smoky flavor. You don't have to, but it's kind of tasty. Let's eat it. Let's see how it is. Mmm. So delicious, and I got my greens. By the way, all the food for this recipe, this huge double batch, is probably only like $7. So this is by far the cheapest way to eat, in addition to being the healthiest and most environmentally friendly way to eat. Just something to keep in mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Check out this playlist here for the rest of my super simple, healthy vegan recipes and click the link down below to learn about my live interactive cooking show where we make recipes like these and many others. Next week, I'm going to reveal a few recipes using my Indian masala curry sauce that I've been working on for the cookbook. So you wanna check that out. See you on the next video, bye.